What's up everybody? We're doing another melting video today. Gonna get back to some dumpster diving tonight and probably do a dumpster diving video tomorrow or something like that. But I've been watching my brass hoard grow. As I was looking through all this, obviously there's some nice pieces that I'm not gonna melt down. I'll be doing other stuff with, but there's a whole bunch of just junk brass in here too. I mean, maybe these you could say, oh, go sell those instead, but I don't know. I'm gonna melt down this whole pile of brass knit necks. We've got some plumbing stuff here. We've got some brass screws. A little bit of brass this and that found some brass wire at a junk removal job so all of this is going to get melted down and i'm going to make myself a fresh brass bar the furnace is still heating up but not a big deal i'm going to go ahead and start popping some stuff in there throw all of this in that didn't fit nearly as well as i thought it would i thought i'd be able to get a lot more in there let me do this i'm just going to drop some screws around the edges here I know I should have my gloves on, but these screws are hard to pick up with the gloves, and it's not that hot yet. It's like 350 oven temperatures, you know. That's good. Come back here in about half an hour, and then add the rest. Well, this is interesting. Just came back out to check on it, and I get this weird little white film around the lid, and it's kind of popping. Look, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Something in the, the oh my gosh, something in there is not brass. I don't know what's going on though, but that does not look good. What did I just look at that? Oh my gosh! Hang on, I gotta, I got a fire extinguisher right inside in case things get trippy, but um. What is going on? Well, I think I found the culprit and I'm a bit confused. It's this guy right here. I took he, so everything in there, once I got the flames to die down, everything in there was melted except for this. Uh, I thought that this was brass, but because of the color on it, and I hit it with a with the file as well. Like I I scored it and it was still brass under, but it just had a thick brass coat on it, so now most of the brass coat has melted off and I'm just left with this little piece of steel. That was a mistake. <laughs> um, well, I think that's part of the culprit at least, but at the same time, I'm like, would that really have caused all that white stuff? I'm thinking like maybe something else that I dropped in there. I don't know. Let's, I mean, let's look at, right? Like could the inside of this maybe be something other than brass like maybe inside of there is actually a bunch of plastic and then it's just brass on the outside it feels heavy though that's the thing is it feels like solid brass so i'm not really sure i i added a couple more pieces and i'm just gonna see what happens i'm gonna wait out here and see what happens with it but overall the unit's holding up great I and mean, you can see the huge discoloration on that one there this one there's no discoloration yet other on than on that little sticker tag but that's normal that's uh, in the instruction manual it says that's gonna get discolored so no discoloration there the lid is holding together great uh, so now I've got you know this broken one back here and then this one up here maybe I'll sell that for like 50 bucks or something or 100 bucks to someone who has welding expertise and can weld that top piece back on or maybe I'll just go and try to find someone to weld it on for me and then I have two but uh, yeah that was interesting I'm not really sure what to make of that. I've got all this white fluff all over. And this is, this is what was up there. I have no idea what that is. Huh. Anyone in the comments let me know if you're experienced with this kind of stuff. I'm just doing some trial and error right here and <laughs> looks like some interesting errors. Okay, well, it's still smoking a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pour. I got some more metal melted in there. I just put the rest of that stuff in. Let me set this up here. I'm not going to use my chest mount today because, I don't know, I don't feel like it. But let's get this guy heated up a little bit. Make sure there's no moisture in there. And then I'm going to start this pour. And this is just absolutely bizarre. I'll have to see if I can do some more reading and figure out what all of this white powder is. That is so weird. That should be hot enough. Well, 
Or the smoke, I guess. Maybe it's, I don't know, the smoke or something. Okay, here we go. Let's get this thing poured. And then let's be done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just pouring liquid fire here. So hang on, I'm looking inside of this. And it's actually smoking underneath the crucible. Is this, is this a defect with... All right, maybe I spoke too soon when I said that this unit was good because I just pulled the crucible out of that and it was like smoking underneath the crucible. So I wonder if it's the, the material inside the unit. All right, let's get this thing going. Get my gloves back on. This is bizarre. This should be plenty cool. Maybe not. There it is. That's a nice little bar of brass with some weird funky yellow. All right, let's pour bar number two. I want to get this thing done ASAP. Flick that guy off. Woo. Okay. Look at that. It's a pretty bar. It's gonna be at least. Over here I've got my other one sitting in the water. Let's get this guy poured out now. Oh, nice. I wonder if this is just a thing that, I doubt it. I was gonna say, I wonder if this is just a thing that happens with brass. But I don't think so. Here's the treasure hoard so far. I've got six nice big ingots of copper. These are all about two pounds each. I've got my four ingots of Nordic brass. These just turned out absolutely brilliant. These were the two I did uh, off video at the end once I learned from my first two here where I, I didn't quite get these to well this one mixed well so just this one yeah this one didn't quite mix all the way but these are beautiful I think I'm mostly going to skip stick to copper and uh, and Nordic gold this is aluminum aluminum was super fun too I'll probably melt more aluminum this was the disaster uh, the brass disaster so I may attempt brass again after doing a little more research, but honestly, this doesn't even look that good. And this is just something that happened serendipitously. It's like a pair of angel wings. And this was from my Nordic brass melt the other night. Uh, as I was pouring the last pour, this is like the dregs of what was left. And you can kind of see how it has that, the crucible curve shape right there in it. And then this, hardened on the crucible and fell out and so I just tossed it in the water and it came out just absolutely gorgeous like that is just stunning not marred at all no no uh you know none of this kind of junk on there so I like that piece I thought it turned out pretty dang good all right so naturally when I didn't know what's going on I go to reddit because reddit's great white foam from melting cartridge cases this is brass cartridge this sounds kind of like what happened to me white foamy stuff Recently started experimenting with metalworking, made a furnace, used it to melt down aluminum and zinc, and apparently worked fine. Today, I tried to melt down old brass cartridge cases, and once it started to melt, I got a bright green flame coming out of the crucible. That's exactly what I had, thick white smoke. Uh, I took it out of the fire. The crucible was covered with a white foam. Read about metal fumes coming out, but I understood it happened once reached the boiling point and I wasn't at the boiling point. Same thing here, I was at the melting point, not the boiling point. What happened? Come down here, you're burning zinc. The white stuff is zinc oxide. Odds are you didn't get your zinc as hot as you got your brass. Best way to melt thin brass is to melt into already molten brass. Keeps the stuff from oxidizing too quickly. Uh, remember, blah, 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 blah. So when you melt high zinc in a high surface area, you're bound to be in for quite a lot of oxide. 
Pure zinc melts around 750 and boils around 1600. So I must have had a lot of zinc in there. You, uh, your pure zinc never got close. It's time for some good airflow, good PPE, yeah. All right, so I'm thinking, let's see, can confirm. Green flame is a result of burning copper. I definitely didn't have copper in there unless it was brass plated copper, but that would be weird. Um, losing a little zinc when melting brass is to be expected, but it shouldn't be terribly thick clouds of it. Just kind of wispy to solve this, either add more brass at one time and dialing down the heat. I may, so I did have the burner up past the boiling point or the melting point of brass. So maybe that was my mistake. I had it up um, at like, I think I had it up, yeah. That's the mistake there. I was too, I think I had too much heat going. It was like 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I remember right, the melting point for brass is 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. So that was probably a mistake that I made. And I'm gonna have to uh, clean up that mess once everything cools down and try this all again. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day. Please subscribe.